hello and welcome to this first video on Tableau desktop in this video I'm gonna show us how to connect to data set stored in Microsoft SQL Server and then we're gonna create a report from that data set so let's get started now let's see the database that we want to connect to in the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Now in the Management Studio, we can see that we have two databases, the first being Adventure Work 2019 database and of course the F Transaction database. Now under the F Transaction database, we've got this dbo.sales data and this is the table we want to connect to. So let's head over to Tableau. Now in the left corner here you can see that you can connect to different you know server like tablet server microsoft excel json text file and so on now we want to connect to server and we have options for my sql oracle amazon red sheets microsoft sql and this is what we want to connect to moreover we have so many connectors when you click on more okay you can you know, search for whatever you want quite so many now let's click on microsoft sql server now in the microsoft sql server all we need to do is to provide the name of the server now this is the name of my server which is abila david zero one and just type in the abila david zero one and specific by typing the name of the database now we want to connect to f transaction database so just click on sign in okay so we can see the table we've got only six data table and we can see that in the canvas here so what i'm going to do is to in the bottom left just click on go to worksheet and then we can see all the physically the fields at the top are called dimensions because they contains text and date values while the fields at the bottom are called measures because they contain values that we can aggregate using built-in functions so let's create a simple report to show the total sales by account manager now i can drag and drop in the rows or in the column shelf but can even use click on the field hold on the control key and click on total and then in the show me you can choose any visualization you want let's go with the table so the moment i click on that i can see the report total sales by account manager that's lovely now if you want to create a cross tab report that you want to drill down for down we can even take this um, brand and drop it in the columns shelf and that creates a cross tab report for us now basically we can see that this is not formatted in any currency now to format in tab is very simple you can come to the field which is sum of total you can right click and choose um format now in the format left of the screen and you can easily apply number format here just click on this drop down and choose um, currency standard then you can set for the currency i'm going to use uk gb pounds currency so i'm going to type in united united kingdom and choose this and then automatically i can see the gb pounds currency symbol that's lovely now if we want to get rid of the decimal you can come to this currency custom and then get rid of the decimals here and that's looking lovely so we want to filter this cross tab total sales by account manager and brand using the payment type i can take this payment field and drop in the filters area and then i can select under the general tab the specific payment type we want now let's want to filter by mastercard perfect money paypal visa card and western union so i check them here and then you can click on ok and then you can see the report automatically update so this is basically how we can connect to data sets stored in microsoft sql server and analyze the data in the tab new canvas now to tidy things up you can rename this sheet i'm going to call this one um, sales report and then you click okay you can even play around and convert this to the bar chart so i click on that and the report automatically updates okay so you can see brand and total now it follows the order in which we drop the field in the rows shelf now when i alternate by moving this um, account manager before the brand and i drop here you can see the chart automatically updates so you can see account manager coming first and then the brand field coming next 
so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like share comment and subscribe to this channel because there's a lot of videos to come thank you and bye for now cheers